This is the Microsoft Arc. It's not out yet, but we do have a sample here to show you today. This is a wireless style that works. That's their little slogan for it. Wireless PC and Mac keyboard. And their, their thing is, okay, yeah, that it's style that works. So it's a stylish, small little keyboard that's meant to be, I would imagine, well, here's what I would use it for. Okay, I'm not going to tell you what it's for because I don't know what they intend it for, but I would use this from the couch to control my media center because it's exactly the kind of size that you can comfortably put it in your lap but still be able to comfortably type. Actually, we'll find out if we can comfortably type once I actually get it out of the box, but okay, here we go. Why don't we see what the, what Microsoft has to say about it. Meet the ARC keyboard with beautiful curves and a compact design. It's at home wherever you are. Okay, so in my case, on the couch. Excellent. You can show it off. Clean lines and an eye-catching shape complement your style. Here, there, anywhere. Something about using it anywhere. And be free. Also something about using it anywhere. They have a little picture of the nano transceiver for wireless freedom. Okay, so let's find the seals. And I do not have anything even remotely resembling a knife on me. Uh, okay, here, hold on, actually, just a sec. I have a fork, and I will just use that to pierce the sticker, and then hopefully the whole sticker will come away from for me, and then we'll go from there. Or I could just peel the sticker. Bear with me here. I'm just going to peel the sticker up because my fork has lasagna on it, and I think that that would be um, not quite sanitary, especially because, like, well, you know, old lasagna isn't really a very sanitary thing to put on stuff. That's my wisdom for the day. Okay, so here we are. It is covered in a little cloth sheath. That is to protect it from scratches, I'm assuming, and also to make the presentation of this is actually excellent. Look at this. So you open up your box, you get a little sheath pocket envelope thing here made of like a nice clothy material. Then you get, oh, this is nice. So this is, would be a CD and probably your user's guide. Start here. Helpfully labeled even. So you start here. So this must be a quick start guide. So they show you how to put in the batteries, put in the wireless transceiver, and then press the buttons in order to link it up. Oh, cool. Oh, that's a neat system. So basically, to turn the keyboard, oh, okay, to turn the keyboard on or off, press and hold function and escape until the battery light changes, and then that's it. Huh. Neato. Okay. Then you've got a Microsoft product guide here, which probably includes some warranty information as well. Okay. Two AAA batteries. Not a big fan of AAA batteries, but when you're trying to make a device as compact as possible, sometimes it's unavoidable. It's just that they're sort of they're more as expensive as double A's, and you don't get more battery life out of them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They're not really my favorite thing. But let's get this Arc keyboard out of here. Ooh, that is nice actually. So you can see it has a slight curve to it, hence the name Arc. And on the bottom is a cleverly designed little compartment for the or AAA batteries. See, now I'm all screwed up. For the AAA batteries. And then right here is the little nano transceiver. Is that? Ha, I love it. It's held in by a magnet. Look at that. So you never have to worry about ah, it coming out. As long as, you know, you don't have a, a curious toddler that oh, comes along and eats it. Anyway, that's really convenient. And then the top of the keyboard itself. So I'm going to apologize in advance for the crotch shot here. I'm just going to go ahead and put this on my lap. And eh, actually, that's not bad. You can comfortably reach all the buttons. It is a very standard layout. So you can see that you've got long shift keys on both sides. You've got a long enter key. So it doesn't have any of the weird bilingual keys that cut off your shift or um, the, the strangely located slash key that would cut your backspace down to the point where, I mean, if you have small hands, reaching a backspace beyond about here is completely unreasonable. So yeah, I, I personally hate the short backspace key. You've got all of your function keys. No, you do not. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, in order to save space, what they've done with the layout is A, they've only got one Windows key, so there's no Windows key on the right-hand side. That's a function key. Oh, and this appears to be a mouse. That is something I didn't know that... 
Oh no, these are your arrows. Okay, so here are all the things that they've managed to make more compact. They've removed a Windows key, put in a function key. They've turned the control, the right control, into the arrow keys, which is a one D-pad button, okay? Then up here, they've actually got F1 to F6, and then you use the function key in order to access F7 to F12. Great, that works for me. And then we've got all of our home end page up, page down, and print screen, all in four buttons right here. And then they've even included media buttons. So you've got mute, louder, and quieter, and then delete and insert. But no, no play, stop, pause. That's a little bit disappointing given what I personally would be using something like this for. But I mean, really, if you have a media center, you should probably own one of these already anyway. It's like the most useful... $15 or whatever it costs that I've ever spent on a hardware component. In fact, I own three. Anyway, thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the ARC. I still think the coolest feature is the magnetic transceiver. That's so cool. Thank you again for checking out my unboxing of the Microsoft ARC.